Alley News Live at 6. I thought it was a tornado the way it looked because it was just going swirling. That thing was a cloud of dark smoke, oil burning off into the North Dakota sky. It's a scene that's becoming all too common. We begin tonight with the latest news surrounding yet another train derailment and fire in North Dakota. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. Rural fire crews are still on the scene. We're being told, though, that the fires are not out. Ten tanker cars went off the track, six of them on fire. It happened around 7.30 this morning near Heimdall. That's located a little more than an hour southeast of Minot. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric has been covering this story from there, and he joins us with the details. Another train derailment, another city, and another group of residents displaced. You have to uh, evacuate right now. And I asked, what about my dog? He said, oh, he'll be okay. So, hope he's doing fine. <laughs> Jennifer Willis took these photos of the carnage this morning. She said you could feel the heat for some distance and hear explosions every so often. While Willis said she wasn't too afraid of the situation, Congressman Kevin Kramer says more needs done to ensure people feel safe. You know, assuring them that they're safe is one thing. Them feeling safe is quite another. We need people to feel safe. No, there's no way to, to prevent 100%. Um, that, that's not going to happen. That said, we need to do everything we can to prevent these kinds of accidents, then do everything we can to mitigate them should they happen, and then, of course, make sure our first responders are well-equipped and well-trained and prepared to, to, to respond. Emergency officials aren't sure how long the blaze is going to burn for, but say it's going to take quite a while for the cleanup. Reporting in Wells County, Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. Residents of Heimdall and those living in nearby farms remain evacuated, about 40 in all. So far, nobody has been hurt.